gente conocida en los círculos operáticos es sin lugar a duda una de las estrellas de las superestrellas en el firmamento de la ópera Tatiana Welcome to Puerto Rico. Well, thank you, Justina. What a wonderful introduction to Puerto Rico I just received. That was beautiful. Well, uh, the first little part of it, I did it in Spanish. Uh, and uh, since you recently did Anita in a brand new recording of West Side Story, did it? Could you understand a little bit yes, of it? Yes, I did. I did, and I prepared the part of Anita. I think a long time ago, because Is that I grew right? up on the West Side, and getting ready to record that uh, that really i can't say it's an opera some of it is an opera really but um i think living in new york growing up in new york going to school in new york having some success in new york prepared me for this marvelous recording that we just did yes. with leonard bernstein conducting as you know yes of course and, we uh, we just saw that uh, documentary that pbs did on the recording yes. uh, two or very, three nights ago yes we enjoyed it very yes, much that's That's how a recording is made sometimes. That's right. Not always, as you know. Uh, absolutely. You know, I had the feeling, you know, when we were doing the recording, there just wasn't a chance to do anything over again. If you didn't like the way a note sounded, well, that was really, you know, that was too bad because there just wasn't enough time. So there was a lot of pressure to get it right the first time. Yes. Because it just, you know, there I wasn't enough time. What, uh, when you uh, do a recording like that, when you work with a composer, What, what kind of pressures <laughs> are there in, uh, as differentiating that from a piece uh, by Verdi or Mozart? Uh, well, I think it's a little difficult. You certainly want to get all the notes right and the words right, and you want to get... But the man is right there, looking down right. your throat. The man is right there, and you want to make sure that you're really doing it the way he would like it. You know, the way... And, the w and what you can bring to it. I mean, he certainly gives you enough room. I was going to ask you that, yes. yes uh, did he, he, he I, if you had an idea, a new idea maybe that hadn't occurred to him, would, uh, would you... Uh, you had no qualms about... No, 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 no. And I think he heard all the ideas when we were rehearsing I the guess. first time. Uh -huh, yes. And the most important thing, one of the most important things, was our accent. I mean, that night, as a matter of that was on film. Everybody met at the Dakota, which is a marvelous landmark building now in New York City. And we spoke an hour, at least, on, on, on accents and, and how we were going to go about doing it. Did you have a language coach? We had a language coach. A was it Nico Castell? A friend of ours, <laughs> Nico Castell. Yes. And he was wonderful. And he paid me such a supreme compliment. He said something like, I had golden ears. Well, <laughs> <laughs> great. I, was, I was really thrilled. I, I really loved doing it. It was something that, well, I've never really worked in that medium, except when I was starting out in this profession in summer stock. You know, then I did all kinds of shows, you know, and I get your gun and burlesque and sound of music and, and all that kind of thing. But it was really the first time in many years that I had ever even thought of, of doing something like the West Side Story. So now it's a That's historic recording. Th yes, and I'm that is. thrilled to be a part of it. Indeed. Tatiana, um, not too long ago, we also had the opportunity here in Puerto Rico of seeing your recording, your, your telecast of mm -hmm. La Clemencia de Tito. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Where, where was it filmed? Well, it was filmed um, in uh, Tivoli, and it was also, it was filmed in Rome as well. And of course, we filmed in the evening only, and we had to stop as soon as, well, the dawn sure. came. And, and then we were, and it was unfortunate because it was raining all the time, and it was muddy, and it was, it was really most unpleasant, and it was very cold for April and May, and that was when we were doing... Did you have to actually yeah. sing while you were filming? You know, you know, what happened was that we all thought, well, we wouldn't have to sing. We pre-recorded it in Vienna, yes. with Jim Levine conducting, and so you get out there, you know, on this ruin, it, it's midnight, and, and it has to look real, Absolutely. and it just doesn't look real, as you know. Sure. So they had the playback, but most of us sang. And then of you course sang along with the playback, of Absolutely, course. Absolutely, yeah. because otherwise I never could get... I, I agree with you, right. I agree with you, because a lot of times when uh, when you uh, dub, mm -hmm. you're... You you're lose the intensity. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you don't look like you're really singing exactly. that high A, exactly. and exactly. It has, that is part of, yeah. of, of the... Exactly. Yeah. That is part of the nature yeah. of our business. Exactly. Yeah. And can you imagine, there were... I don't know how many umpteen trailers, which we all sort of, sort of hung out in, and everyone was warming up at seven o'clock at night after our dinner, 
and getting ready to shoot the rest of the trees, which were live. So that was oh, live. that was live. So, uh -huh, you know, one good. has to have some kind of a voice to, to at least do that. And then I always had, most of us sang. We had to, really. And it, it, it also it gave me a feeling that I was really performing, you know, that I was really involved. I just can't, you know, move my mouth and hope for the best, you know. Yeah. You know. Tatiana, this, this is your first visit to Puerto Rico, and um, we have had the opportunity to see you in, in the two aspects of, of your career. Uh, singing with Please the orchestra, <laughs> <laughs> singing with the orchestra, and singing in recital. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you the famous question. Yeah. Which do you prefer? Do you have a favorite? Oh, I think they're so different, but I think I prefer recital. You do? Yes. 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 yes uh, I like love just being on the stage myself. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> and I like creating um, uh, my own imaginative ideas about about each song, and, and I find a tremendous freedom in it. And, Ah, uh, tremendous satisfaction. They're both very different. And, uh, of course, uh, but uh, you you have quite a reputation for being a wonderful actress. Mm -hmm. uh, so you must you must really enjoy that too, that aspect when I you get do. on stage to create a role for right. and three character. solid hours. That's yes, right. yeah, and I stick do. with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. I enjoy it all very much. I really do. I think it's very it's very challenging, and I'm doing many more recitals now than I used to. So. Uh, it's sort of an extension of what, of what I've always done, I think. Tatiana, we all know that you have sung in all the great opera houses of the world. Uh, tell us, uh, you were telling me the other day about uh, something that is quite a feather in your cap, as it were, that uh, about opening nights in the Met, you and opening oh, nights? that's right, that's right, that's right. Well, I was really very honored to have done three consecutive opening nights at the Met. The last one was the, the centennial performance at the Metropolitan Opera of the Trojans. That's great. With uh, James Levine conducting in Placido and uh, Jesse Norman and myself. And it was really a thrilling evening. That was my third opening night. What, was, what were the two previous the ones? The two previous that? ones uh, before that, the year before that was uh, Norma with Renato Scotto and the one before that was Geros and Cavalier. So it, it really Three very different uh, yes. styles and languages yes. that is only I points think I'm out really, the versatility. You know, yes, I'm really Absolutely. getting known, becoming known for a versatile gift. I mean, if you were to take a look at my recital program. Yes, well, indeed, I was doing that. Yeah, and, uh, they really are quite varied. So I, really I mean, if, if you don't, if uh, someone in the audience doesn't like a particular piece, just wait. <laughs> He has plenty to choose from. I'm sure everybody's going to enjoy all of the pieces. Thank you. I hope they will.